plots, can you beat the old melodramas, where heroes were handsome, villains vile, and maidens modest? And who better to recall those spacious days than that great dramatic actor, Todd Slaughter? Well, old man, you know they call you Mr. Massacre. Now's your chance to prove them right. You've got exactly three minutes in which to portray as many dirty dogs as you can remember from the dramas you've played in. So let's take a gentlemanly villain for the start. Sir Francis Levison from Mrs. Henry Wood's great drama, East Lynn. Upon my word, I can't make you women out. You're not guided by truth morality, least of all by common sense. I offer you a yearly income, and you refuse. Well, goodbye, lady. I can't call you Lady Isabel Vane because you've been married. And I can't call you Lady Isabel Carlyle because you've been divorced. And I certainly shall not call you Lady Isabel Levison, for I was never fool enough to marry you. I hope you'll bring up my son to be a credit to his father. Well, I think this is a very unpleasant episode brought to a very satisfactory conclusion. That was usually the cue for hisses and catcalls. But can't you think of something a little more deadly? Why, of course. What about Squire Corder from Mariah Martin, Murder in the Red Barn? Yes. He's rich and fruity. So jump into your clothes, Todd, of 110 years ago. Let's have a look at Squire Corder and his condemned cell at Bury St. Edmund's jail one hour before his execution. Only another hour to live. Well, I'm glad of it. It'll be an end to all this suspense and torture. Wherever I look in my lonely cell, I seem to see Mariah staring at me as she stared at me the night I killed her. As she will stare at me until I die. All greybeards tell us there is a hell beyond the grave. <laughs> they lie. <laughs> they lie. <laughs> there is no hell like the hell of one's own guilty conscience. Yes, that was certainly better. But what about something a little more blood-curdling, eh, Todd? Of course. That unctuous villain Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. So get into your clothes of the period and see Sweeney Todd outside his shop, waiting to polish them off. <laughs> oh, oh, what a nice little boy. Come here, Tobias, come here. Now the first duty of a barber's boy is to keep a still tongue in his head. I knew a nice little barber's boy once who had his tongue cut out for letting it wag too much. <laughs> yes, and if you see or hear anything in this shop and breathe one word of it outside to a living soul, I'll not only cut out your tongue like the little boy I spoke of, I'll slit your throat from ear to ear. You have a beautiful young throat, Tobias. Oh, I should love to polish you off.